Tippett talks about the veteran presence on, on that newly formed line. You guys have had three games together, seven points combined in those games. What clicks between the three of you guys as players on that line? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, all three of us are, we're not afraid to go, go on the forward check and, um, you know, get our, get our hands dirty in the corners. And I think all three of us are, are able to make plays. And, um, you know, the, the three games I've played with those two, it's been, it's been a lot of fun. You know, I feel like there's, there's always support around me and uh, we're always talking. And, and I think communication makes, makes a huge difference. So I think, uh, you know, that's, that's one of the big things so far. How important is the fact that all three players have experience making a playoff push and, and experience in the playoffs for when you get a little bit deeper and you need that veteran presence? Yeah, I haven't, you know, um, I haven't personally had any playoff uh, experience, but, you know, just listening to those guys and uh, other guys around, around the dressing room, I think, uh, you know, those are guys that, that speak up at, right at the right times. And, um, you know, everybody's learning in, in the dressing room. I, um, so, you know, having guys like that with experience, it's, it's huge for our group, with especially such a young group. Jujar, for you, can you just, you've been a natural center most of your life. You play the wing, and now you're back at center. You, you just seem more engaged in the game. Is it just simply because you get to move more? You're not as, as standing still often as a center compared to a winger? I think so. I think, um, you know, it's one of those things where, uh, you know, for me, even even battling defensively, I think that keeps me engaged. I think there's times where, um, you know, when you're playing wing, especially for me, you kind of, yeah, you get caught standing still. And, uh, you know, this way kind of forces me to get up and down nice. And, um, you know, it's something something I'm used to for, from when I played in the minors and juniors. And, uh, you know, I, I really enjoy it. I think, uh, I think it really pushes me to, to get up and down nice. You were here last year on the penalty kill. Dave Tippett spoke yesterday. You can implement a new system, but at the end of the day, it comes down to the players. And the penalty kill is drastically different and improved this season. From a guy who's been on both sides, what changed in the mindset of the players on the penalty kill? Right. I think, um, you know, this year we, we came in and it was just confidence on the kill. We had a couple, Archie and Sheehan, a couple new bodies on the kill. And, you know, they've had experience, uh, experience on other teams that, that have been successful. So... Uh, even having them out there and, uh, you know, Nude and I, we've, we've killed together for two years now. And, um, you know, you kind of just get comfortable. You read off each other. And, uh, you know, we take a lot of pride in it, especially with our power play doing what it does. You know, we want special teams to be uh, a big part of our, our game and our season. And so far, I think we've done a good job of that. Jujar, just to, to go back to the, to the center transition, I know you've done it for the Oilers, but not so much this year. Has it been kind of like riding a bike, or has there been a little bit of a kind of a transition the last few games for you? Uh, there's definitely definitely a transition. There's, uh, there's definitely a little bit more responsibility defensively just uh, below the goal lines. Um, and in the, in the face-off, you're, you're taking face-offs against uh, really good centermen. And, um, you know, my first couple games, I... You still you're you're a little slow in in the circle, but I think with practice and uh, you know just watching video, I think that kind of helps out.